Okay, so this is the Splunk main dashboard. And this here is your final product, the Splunk app for Windows infrastructure. This app is a collection of pre-built dashboards that tell you all sorts of information about Windows machines in your environment. And these dashboards are basically easy to read charts and graphs. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick so I can show you. There really are two main sets of dashboards being collected. You have the general Windows Workstation event logs, and then you have event logs related to the Active Directory application. I'm going to show you a little bit of what it can do. As an example, let's go to the Active Directory menu. We'll um, select Users, and let's get a quick overview of the user accounts. There really hasn't been much activity in the last 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and expand that out to the last uh, 30 days. Okay, and once it's ran, like I said, you have this very nice looking dashboard here. For this dashboard, it shows the top users that have successfully logged on to the network. Smoke account being number one with a significantly higher amount. This is a service account that you'll learn a little bit about later, so it makes sense that it will have a high amount. The dashboard below it shows top authenticating workstations. So it basically shows the top workstations that have been authenticated to. If there's an abnormally high amount of logon, as a security analyst, I would want to drill down into it and investigate. You can simply do that by selecting any of the blue letter items. So let's say this is my AD server here. I can simply click on it. And up top here, you can actually see the code that has been written to obtain the information that I just saw, just for that AD server alone. So you see how valuable this dashboard is. You didn't have to write this code. It was already made for you. Because at the end of the day, as a security analyst, you just want to be able to pull the information that you need. And in my drill down, you can actually see the different events that came up on that chart. You can always scroll down, hit the drop down menu, and you'll be able to see all the details that you need to see. And from there, you can actually do your investigation to see why there were so many authentication to that machine. Let's try another example. This time, let's do application and updates. We'll go into Windows section, select application updates, and um, Let's see application installs, shall we? Let's see who's been installing things on the machines that we're monitoring. Right now, I have not installed anything in the last 15 minutes, but I certainly have in the past 30 days. So let's select 30 days. So my AD server, I've installed Google, um, Visual C+. I'm guessing this was probably a, um, a Microsoft update. Um, Office click to run was installed. The Universal Forwarder obviously was installed. Um, VMware Tools, uh, this installation. Um, on my test workstation, I, I installed Putty. I remember doing that. And I installed Google. Okay. And it's got installs over time by application. So it's charting it out for you over here. Um, it's more charts. It talks about total installs by application. So you can actually see how many have been installed. The counts is right there for you, right? So when you're working and you have people doing what's called shadow IT, shadow IT is when people install things without permission, well, guess what? You can use Splunk to discover it. The Splunk app for Windows infrastructure provides you with valuable information that security analysts as well as system admins will be interested in seeing. So that's Splunk app for Windows infrastructure in a nutshell. I hope that seeing this demo kind of gets you excited about what you're about to build. Now that you know what the front end looks like, in the next section, I'm going to summarize what it takes to actually make this all work. The configuration game plan is coming up next. Stay tuned.